the Fratus Extension, Broward County, Urban Core Agent, and uh, continue with our vermicomposting. So we've taken you from just the basics of the importance. We've taken you from uh, how to build your warm bin. We talked about all the materials uh, that you should layer your warm bin. I introduced you to our amazing uh, uh, red wigglers. And um, also I've shared with you some of the do's and don'ts in terms of your uh, food scraps that you should put in there. Uh, and then you're always saying, okay, but then how do I go ahead and get the good stuff from my bin? So I'm here to show you. I've shared with you what uh, the layering and what that looked like. And after three months, you're gonna have something that looks like this, okay? And the uh, this is, really the good stuff that you want okay so you can see they're all over they're still you want to make sure that you don't see any food particles uh, and you'll know that it's, uh, it's it's pretty much about ready um, now I told you that uh, the red wigglers and the night crawlers they just don't like the light so one method that you can do to be able to help you separate um, the composted organic matter and then make sure that you separate the red wigglers is um, you make sure you have a bigger area than this um, and you can put newspaper and make sure you go outside in the light and you're gonna grab all of your uh, bin and you're gonna dump it in here and what's gonna happen is they're gonna go to the bottom and uh, you're gonna be able to remove all the good stuff and then put it in a bin and then the uh, night crawlers and the red wigglers are gonna stay in the bottom because they don't like the light and then you're going to then remove all the good stuff, then put them back on once you removed all your composted material, and then you start all over again. You know, you can continue to uh, uh, freshen up your, uh, your bedding that we covered, you know, put in the shredded uh, a newspaper uh, to create the right environment for them again, and you start all over again. So uh, if I just go ahead and grab, as you can see them, I'm gonna put them in here, and they don't like the light, you know? And then they're gonna start going to the bottom and then I'll give it about, you know, a little bit. And then eventually I'll go ahead and remove all of this and uh, separate the good stuff from, uh, from them, okay? Uh, you wanna make sure that they're not out and left there for an hour because you might come back and they might be dead because of the temperature. So trust me, they'll go back. You they really start seeing them going in, um, and so it's a very easy uh, step to do. Uh, just or if you're inside and you can just uh, want to do it with a um, flashlight and you don't want to take them outside, then you can do the same and then uh, you know choose your harvest and then start all over again. So thank you. Thank you.